Every November, St. Nicholas parades through Holland like a king, flanked by his helpers. These are Schwarze Pieten, or Black Peters. For some, they're a sacred Yuletide tradition. For others, a racist symbol. Black Peter first appeared in a Dutch children's book of the 1850s, when Dutch colonies still had slaves. And then comes it. Zijn knecht staat te lachen en wenkt ons reeds toe. Wie zoet was, krijgt lekkers. Wie stout was, een roe. From then on, says author Fritz Boy, Black Peter became part of the holiday ritual for kids of all ages. It started when, when we are very young. Uh, we, we meet St. Nicholas and Black Peter, and that's uh, a very important part of our youth. Not only for me, but for, for thousands of, of Dutchmen. By the 1900s, Black Peter had gone from being Santa's servant to a menace that punished bad children while Santa rewarded the good. In the 1950s, Black Peter became a smiling caricature. Nowadays, many Dutch children learn that Peter is not black, but dirty, because he went down the chimney to deliver presents. There is, there is no trace of racism, racism system in, and discrimination in, in the acting and speaking and, and, and doing and, and of Black Peter nowadays. In the most recent polls from the late 1990s, 96% of people said Black Peter had nothing to do with discrimination. That finding surprises even some of the Dutch. It must be patently clear that Black Peter is a abominable uh, a racist, racial representation of Black people and uh, we as white people it it should be self-evident that you don't make fun through the impersonation of an of, of, of black people the rare anti-peter protest is met with passionate opposition and even threats of violence holland's black community has remained silent mostly playwright mark val raven used to dress up as black peter when he was younger and then I started working with uh, Cosmic Theater, and there were black people mainly working there, and they told me, we don't celebrate uh, St. Glass because of Zwarte Piet. And I was really astonished. I never heard that before. It's a taboo topic because, well, in the, ne in the Netherlands, people uh, do not think of themselves as being racists. And uh, it, it hurts, probably. When uh, and they are also and the tradition is very important to uh, Dutch people. It is their youth, it is their their happiness, and uh, they don't want that to be attacked. Theater director Ernestine Kamvarius wanted to bring the discussions she was having with other blacks to a wider audience. She convinced Val Raven to write a play about a man who believes that only black people should play Pete. Its premiere received a warm response last year in the largely immigrant Belmer neighborhood of Amsterdam. Holland is not as white as it was in the 1850s, when Black Peter was invented. Today, 14% of residents come from outside Europe, leading some to say it's time for Black Peter to retire. If Zwarte Piet wouldn't exist, or if Zwarte Piet would be just, you know, he could also be blue and gray and, 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 and pink, then uh, I would be more interested in this tradition. And uh, then with more uh, happiness, I would probably participate. And I remember one person in the audience last year uh, telling him, telling us, he said, when my two children play together, and one of, the, one of them is hurt, and he says, I am hurt. Then I teach them, the other one has to stop. So why can't we do why can't we talk like this about Zwarte Piet? But most Dutch people don't want to let go of the tradition. I hope uh, that uh, Black Peter uh, will continue. I hope it will be uh, for many, many years. And uh, I find uh, that you may place between the Black Peters uh, Peters who are not black, some. It's just playing a beautifully dressed blackface. 
But then, what kind of blackface is it? For most here, it seems, Black Peter is just Santa's jolly little helper. 